Lona is a beautiful widow living all alone at her country chateau with only her books and painting for company. Then one day Triana, a wild gypsy girl who has been raised in an orphanage is brought her home by her friend Sally and her husband. She asks her to take care of her while they are away. She takes the girl under her wing. A sensuous relationship develops between them. Soon the pair are lovers. But Triana has a dark secret that manifests itself in frightening dream of domination and humiliation. She has recurring nightmare of a naked man on horseback assaulting and abusing her. At the same time, the naked horsemen begin to appear in reality. The girl convinces that he represents her doom, resists him, but the artist is intrigued and a bizarre erotic triangle is established. Here is another sumptuous looking highly atmospheric and sensuous fantasy from Spanish art exploitation director Larez, who was responsible for vampires, the finest of modern vampire movies. The scene are bath in soft focus green and ochre, emphasizing the dreamlike pastoral setting and highlighting the player's striking emerald and almond eyes. The three main characters are gorgeous in unique ways. The Spanish guitar score is a perfect complement to the mood. There is one memorable surrealistic image and the story is absorbing and quite unpredictable. Only the rather arbitrary ending is a letdown. A perfect example of the height reached by 70s Euro fantasy with psychological and cultural subtext intensifying the convention of the erotic and horror genre. Contrary to popular belief, the world of 70s exploitation and trash cinema can be quite the mysterious and contradictory place. Take this rarely seen and obscure piece of Spanish awkwardness for example. This movie is weird and confusing even before you decide to watch it. If you look it up on this marvelous website, you stumble upon the page of a seemingly stylish, artistic and somewhat psychedelic film entitled The Coming of Sin, which showcases a cover image with a golden and transparent horse standing in a meadow. In case you know yet nothing about the film, you are tempted to think this will be an artsy and tasteful exploitation feature. However, the VHS exemplar that ended up in my dirty little hand is proudly entitled Violation of the Beach with the provocative tagline, see us for it, written in equally giant letter and showing the drawing of a busty woman, kneeling down in front of a pair of female legs and begging for her life. Now what type of film do you expect to see in this case? That's right, pure rancid sleaze and gratuitous violence. The actual finished product is somewhat of a mixture between wannabe artistic and wannabe shocking. The coming of scene is plentiful of nudity but severely lacking a decent storyline and action sequences. A wealthy but lonely and frustrated female takes a shy but voluptuous gypsy girl into her mansion for some company and random entertainment. The girl suffers from a recurring nightmare about a naked man on a horse stalking her. The dream actually becomes reality when one morning there is a naked horseman at their door. The gypsy girl naturally reacts. Reluctant, but the insatiable artist is fascinated by the appearance and a bizarrely uncomfortable triangular relationship develop itself. In spite of the reasonably short running time, Violation of the Peach is a tedious film with an unpleasantly large amount of padding footage. 
all the potentially intriguing plot element are ignored in favor of long and meaningless sequences containing two female lead character starring at each other naked or posing for nude portrait the climax is totally implausible since it contradict with everything the script attempted to make us believe earlier on but hey at least the vhs cover art wasn't a lie jos raymond laras has always been one of my favorite euro exploitation director but this is unquestionably one of his lesser effort unless you are a tolerant and extremely open minded fan of odd exploitation sleaze avoid good luck tracking this one down at blockbuster or any other local video store joseph lara's long lost slice of euro trash is a must see for lover of decadent cinema but your only hope is to hook up with a collector who will no doubt supply you with a poorly dubbed multi generation copy still this sick puppy is about as lazy as it gets yet manage to tell a rather engaging story about a gypsy orphan girl who come to stay at a lonely widow's villa and keep her company in more ways than she bargained for throw in a naked dude on horseback a few subtle dream sequences and a assortment of love love and more love and it all add up to a highly unforgettable viewing experience alas the only way you will ever get to see it is by posting a trade request on alt video tap trading lares is one of those director who succeed in making a picture with virtually no money by using some unorthodox images like a naked man on a horse and by doing some smart editing he managed to give this film a creepy feeling that shows you don't need million to make a decent picture this does not mean this is a good movie although it had some strong scene including the infamous horse with woman inside scene it has a weak ending a couple of standard middle of the road love scene and the acting is rather amateuristic i'd recommend this to anyone who has seen every franco 70s movie available and want to see something similar however lares made a much better picture with vampire which stayed much higher on my all time top euro trash list lona is a young painter living by herself in the countryside a couple friend on their way to london live triana with her triana has terrible nightmare in which a naked man on a horse pursue her and this nightmare sought to be grounded on reality when the horseman materializes in real life triana and lorna become more and more attached to each other and the horseman break into their lives triana feel repulsion for him and lorna feel curiosity a fortune teller had told triana that a horseman would appear in her life and that when she give in to him a tragedy would occur bizarre love triangle the story is stylishly told creative camera saw the countryside the house and the high grass is surrounding it the dream sequences the wind moving the cloth on the cloth line the river the small animal hopping around and to crown it all beautiful erotic scenes all this is punctuated by a beautiful soundtrack of spanish guitar classic spanish picture of naked women a flamenco dance that will be a prelude for thing to come a gypsy party la visita del vicio like the countryside and people it portray is dreamy erotic and atmospheric unless you like dreamy sopco erotica and a get a kick out of watching naked guys ride bareback on horses the coming of scene has very little to recommend it to fans of euro horror like myself i sought this out based on director jos raman lara's reputation from other film of his like deviation 
the house that vanished vampire and the widely overrated black candle i will even admit to guiltily enjoying some of his later soccer like bit and pieces and the teen oriented savage lust while they are an inconsistent lot the film do have two element in common specifically an air of artful creativity and some sort of a payoff the coming of scene is by contrast a long trip for an extremely short day at the beach a fetching young gypsy girl with a penchant for sleeping in the nude come to live with a ravishing aristocratic blonde painter who very quickly help her dark guest come to grip with her by nature which is par for the course for this sort of things tension is added in the form of chico a duran duran look alike who spent the majority of the film riding around completely naked on a horse like the girl he is also a gypsy and live in a hut he made down by the river where he spent his time lying around waiting for women to wander by seems like kind of boring living to me but whatever that's pain for you chico eventually joined the ladies at the house after some nonsense involving trample flowers lost necklaces breech loading shotgun 19th century figure painting and the film's iconic dream image of the gypsy girl crouching inside a life size horse model you sort of have to see it to understand what i mean but the running theme in the film is that none of the sumptuous imagery and erotic tension ever really pays off aside for some soap core fumbling the movie's alternate english title violation of the peach has to do with the scene where chico prove his love to the lady of the house by apparently buggering her while the family is over for a dinner party all of it lead up to a climax of violence that happened for no particular reason at all other than perhaps lares wish to try and pull the rug out from underneath the trench coat who would be flocking to the greenhouse to see the movie the problem is that the movie while as sleazy as they come isn't really sick or demented enough to warrant some of its reputation If anything this is sort of a euro sleaze couple movie chock full of both female and male nudity all of it's very tastefully and artfully photographed and hence the problem with it on a thematic level for those used to lares more well known work it's a bit too tasteful and aside from the bizarre dream sequence involving the horse never really grab the imagination which may have been the point to make a watchable little softcore that doesn't really push the envelope too much the film was made at the end of the franco era in spain when overt love was a no no on the generalismo cinema screen and might have simply been an attempt to make a cheap little love thriller with a cast of about 8 people and on that level it isn't bad The bottom line is that if you want to watch Euro Trash Sopko without much in the way of plot you should give this one a try as the film is endowed with the stimmed soap focused look of a penthouse spread But if you are drawn to Lares horror work you will be scratching your head and watching the runtime clock tick of waiting for something to happen it's a minimalist tale of three people a gypsy girl a rich woman and a mysterious man who like to be in the buff whilst riding his horse engaged in a three way relationship the love scenes are blunt perfunctory and frankly quite dull the character are one dimensional and lacking in motivation and the film's conclusion is almost as ridiculous as its country opening sequence i'm not sure what the other reviewers like about la visita del vicio as it bored me to tears perhaps not quite as bad 
as the worst Jesus Franco film but close. The Violation of the Beach is a very interesting title and one that made me confident that I was about to see something at least passable. But unfortunately the film doesn't live up to its title and unfortunately it's more of a miss opportunity than a great exploitation flick. The plot make it sound like the film is going to be interesting too. And we focus on a young girl who has a recurring nightmare of a man on horseback raping her. She goes to live with a lush tau female and they soon kick up a relationship. But then the nightmare rapist manifests himself and a strange love triangle develops. I have to admit that the version I saw was only 73 minutes long and may well have been a cut version. But unless they cut out all the interesting bit, this is a still a bad film. The characters should really be important in a film like this, but instead they are non-existent and that ensure the plot is not very interesting either. As the title would suggest, there is a handful of love scenes thrown in, but they are not very well filmed either, which really make this a rather torrid 73 minutes of film viewing. Not surprisingly, this is a rare film and it's one that is not worth tracking down. If it was made without any discernible talent, plot or indeed narrative input of any variety. Now I know that Spanish director Jose Ramon Laras had talent. He made the atmospheric erotic horror that was vampires after all. But you wouldn't recognize it from watching Violation of the Beach which despite the exploitative title is a complete non-starter of a film, a sluggish softcore movie like black candles. The plot involves a couple of women in a remote country house who soon embark on a passionate affair. Before long, their happiness is interrupted by the arrival of a man, who may or may not be the figure haunting the dream of one of the women. There is no more story than that, just long scenes of dull dialogue interspersed with various softcore coupling. Lara's throw in an attempted twist ending in a bit to make this all seem like it's going somewhere but I'm afraid a couple of seconds of violence in no way, shape or form make this is a decent movie. Just a badly acted, badly dubbed and heavily cut waste of time. This is no great film but it is not terrible and indeed a very pleasant watch with glorious visual. A marvelous gypsy ingredient which include our lovely call it background music and a fine flamenco episode plus a most authentic looking gypsy lunch and table dance. The love scenes are far more forthright and vigorous than I remember and nothing like as consensual in appearance. On the disc extras Mark Morris fully explained the various version with example and indication of quality, or more particularly lake of end, it is quite apparent I had previously only seen some very poor approximation of this title. There is even talk of a popular video version missing the opening reel and it seems it may well have been a copy of this I had previously seen and then written so contemptuously. So for the first time I have felt the need to delete my original piece and urge anyone who has the slightest liking for the film or Mr. Laras to give this one another chance. So for the first time I have felt the need to delete my original piece and urge anyone who has the slightest liking for the film or Mr. Laras to give this one another chance.